A few months ago, I had the pleasure of showing off Southern Africa's climbing to uh, Alex Honnold. He's, uh, he's a pretty good climber. A couple of us took him around to show him some of our rock. Here we are at the airport, Walfus. Alex is late. <laughs> I don't think he knows what I look like, so he'll just be guessing. He'll be like, jeez, mm, who am I going to meet? Some dodgy character. I know what he looks like. I've seen, uh, I've seen a couple of movies with him. He's uh, skinny, dark hair. Welcome to Africa. How was your flight? Long. Long. We're going to find some rock. Heck yes. Yeah. Heck yes. I'm basically coming to South Africa just because it's somewhere new, it's somewhere exotic, it's somewhere exciting. There's good climbing, but more importantly, it's like diverse cultural experience. It's like somewhere totally different for me. I haven't been on like sand dunes since I was like a little kid or something. <laughs> My expectations for this trip are to do a lot of climbing, to see amazing new places, hopefully to see some very exciting animals, like an African safari with more rock climbing. I'm like, ah, peaceful desert with just the sound of a helicopter and all my 15 friends filming. <laughs> Allard is a great climbing partner. He's super experienced. He's climbed all over. He's established tons of new routes. I mean, he's fun. He's, he has a good sense of humor. I mean, he, you know, he's, he's anything you would need in a climbing partner. So what do you think of the wall, eh? Oh, it looks amazing. Pretty legit. I've been visiting Spitzkoppe for 15 years, fairly regularly. We've opened quite a few new lines on Spitzkoppe. The route, I think, in moderation, was the line that I spotted and I wanted to climb back in sort of 2000. Mark Searing and myself came back in 2001 and we spent a week on the route, pulled the driller, placed a couple of bolts and then figured out the route would go. And uh, we figured out, oh, this is going to be a pretty special route. Then, oh, wow. Right. No. Like a that's, bit. that's a nice line. Wakey, wakey. Oi, Alex. Mmm, <laughs> muesli. <laughs> Shoes, harness, rope, drawers, water, snacks. The line isn't that striking because it's sort of like this weird system that's kind of like folds into the side of the mountain. And so you're like, oh, it's interesting looking, but it's not like the proud straight line. But then when you climb it, it's like these super cool cracks, really interesting climbing. And then it's not just that they're like good cracks, but the, the actual cracks are like smooth and really comfortable on your hands. So it's actually like fun to climb. It feels good. Oh, Alex is running up here. Climbing through this tree, I felt like I was in my grandma's garden or something. As a kid, like she had a big old fig tree like this. Nothing Moderation does have like a lot of variety on it, but I think my favorite was probably the middle, like these three crack pitches in a row that are all like really interesting, lie-backing, underclinging, like just interesting moves, pretty cool. How's it looking? Oh, it's super nice. Good. It's like really fun. I mean, the whole route for the most part is one long crack up until the crack runs out and then you have to face climb to the top. So basically the entire crack system is really cool. And then the face climbing is nice, but it's not, it's not the money.
months before, I was taking off for my speed wing. On takeoff, I was running, running, and I stepped into a ditch and I broke my foot. So when climbing at Spitz Copper with Alex, my foot was in sub-optimal condition. <laughs> I suffered a bit. Watch me getting solid. Oh, fuck. I wasn't that surprised that he fell off considering the whole time he's like, ah, ah, oh, nah. And then he was like, obviously he's gonna fall oh, at some God. point. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, I just slipped it. The whole route, he sounded like he was, you know, passing a kidney stone or something. Oh. But I think he's coming off a broken ankle and stuff. I mean, he's probably not like in the best shape of his life. <laughs> so like he just went to war. I did. Eventual. Climbing with Allard has been awesome here because uh, he knows the area so well, he knows the history, he knows the routes, he knows how to get to them, he knows how to climb them, he knows how to get off of them. If I was here by myself just looking at the guidebook trying to figure out where everything is and how to do it, you know, I'd be a lot more involved. But having him here is just like having the cheat sheet. There was one aid pitch on the route that, uh, you know, had just been bolted as a bolt ladder. And uh, it turns out there were holds on it though, so I found a way to kind of go around and weave through the bolts. and. Turns out it goes free. <laughs> we did the first free ascent. Well, Alex did the first free ascent. It's fairly committing because you clip a bolt and then instead of following the, the bolt ladder up, kind of got to down climb a bit and then you got to climb up and you're actually quite far from the bolt and then you kind of climb up on really, really small, sharp edges. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's kind of closed chapter on this club. Like it's great. I'm super psyched. Yeah.